with the agency. Yes. And so, you know, would you ever imagine a Skinner that would say, you know, like we see uh, with um, you know, David and Jillian's character, they're gone, they're out. So, you know, is I Skinner a guy that's in it for good? I think it's 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 so much a part of his, his his makeup. I think he's just he's he's a, a company man to the end. But he's also he's also I think at odds with a lot of a lot of the upper higher ups in, in the FBI. It's, it's, I mean, Chris said he's, he's pretty much kind of a um, renegade. Is that the word that he uses? Yeah. That, yeah. So he's, he's kind of like he's kind of gone off the, off the tracks with uh, his behavior and the way he. I mean, because he opens the X. Well. Yes. <laughs> Hey, hi, sweetie. How are you? Yeah. Oops. Erase, 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 erase. God dang it. <laughs> okay. Well, when he sees when he sees uh, Mulder for the first time in the first episode, is he? Did you play it that he's kind of shocked to see where he is? Well, he's. I don't. The, the moment we don't play the moment yeah, immediately that exactly. that, it, that, that, that he sees him. So. Um, Does you think so Skinner been, kind of approaches it as like, geez, I never thought I'd see Mulder well, in this place where he's kind of he's, depressed he's, and out of it. He's there because. Because Skinner. Right. Yes. <laughs> Stop. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, I would tell. Yeah, exactly. Well, when you um, talk a little bit about how Skinner is in this series, it's been years, and as you said, he's kind of classified by Chris Carter as a little bit of a renegade with what he's doing. Um, does he believe them more? Is you know you see? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He believed. He believed them at the end. Of, exactly. Yeah, he, he was a believer at, uh, at the end. Exactly. And he had you know throughout the throughout, earlier on in the series, he, he relates a, a, an incident in Vietnam and out about uh, out of body experience that he had. So he's, he he has he's, he's had some leanings towards. And then when it's like when it's when he when he goes down the path with with Mulder over the years. Um, he sees even more, you know, and, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, there's like, there's like, there's like friggin' aliens running around, yeah. you know, and, and um, so he, uh, he is, I think he is absolutely on board, he's a believer, and he's, he's like, that's why, that's why things that's proceed things the, way they do. the way they do. Do you have a favorite episode of The Six? I haven't seen them all yet. I haven't seen them all yet? I've only seen of one. What you've seen, just the one? <laughs> I've just seen the one, yeah. yeah. And uh, are you hopeful, you know, that it's kind of impossible in some ways that the show has come back and you know, everybody's so appreciative that we get six. Do you feel like um, there's a potential more now because of the return and just um, what you've seen? Let or? me just say that if, if, they, if they came back with more, I would be there. Absolutely. Great. Thank you so much. You Great bet. to see you. Take good care. to see you too. Thank you. Yeah, two hey, questions. Sweetie, right. Hi, hey, how are you? See you. Good to see you. You look lovely. So, thank you. You're so, what's Skinner's favorite Starbucks drink? His favorite wine? Starbucks drink. What does he offer? Non fat hazelnut latte. <laughs> Venti. Venti. Yes. Um, Is that the biggest one? No, no, no. Non no, no. fat hazelnut. La, grande latte, latte grande. Grande. Is it no? Grande is the medium one. Oh, venti. Trenta. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, she already asked you a lot of it, but do you think that becoming a believer was Skinner's greatest growth? I want, like, on this time that he was away from. Oh, absolutely. I think, I think the fact that he made that transition, you know, uh, like I said, following uh, Mulder down that path. Um, to the realizations that that he that came about, you know, I, it was was huge for him. What was your favorite Melvin on like the whole six or the the moment that you were on set? Was a favorite moment there? When Chris said I could keep my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you already said that if there were more, you would be coming back. Uh, what do you think, if it were, would Skinner ask for a raise? Would Skinner be outside would, of the FBI? Would Skinner? No, I think he would still be there. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think he's he's he'll be there until they say go home. Even though he's not happy with the way the way things have been transpired, yeah. you know there. Um, yeah, what do you think? I have to imagine, you I think, know more about the show than I do. What, I think you need the spin up. <laughs> I'm going to write Really, what would it be about? What would Skinner do? Do you know all the shady things and deals that he would have to do to get away with this, his children, getting away with all this stuff? He has to have well, many Well, I guess. Maybe he, could, maybe he could, you know, maybe be like a, 
I don't know. I don't know. Some variation of a Snowd Snowden esque type character or something. Now we're that would... now we're <laughs> Thank All you right, so much. Sweetie. I'll talk to you later. Bye.